Alexa, add potty training to my to-do list. Alexa, add pee pads to my shopping list. Wait, whoa, <laughs> wait, no, never mind. Undo that last part, Alexa, no pee pads. Okay, if the time has come to get a new puppy and you're building your shopping list, you've come to the right place. Now, this might not be as fun as buying toys and soft bedding, but I promise that this stuff is super important. I'll help you get it right, too. And when you're done discussing the must-have potty training items, check out the description below for a link to my website, and you're going to find all the products I recommend. First on the list is an outdoor puppy pen. Now, the outside world is really distracting and can be overwhelming for a young puppy. This pen will help your puppy focus on the task of going potty while outside. It is also going to keep other animals out so it's safer for your puppy who hasn't been fully vaccinated. Not all puppies need this pen, but it's good to start with it and just see how it goes. If your puppy needs a little more movement to produce a movement, <laughs> then try walking her around the outside of the pen for just a little bit. Now, the pen also keeps an area free of mulch and leaves and other hazardous ground material. That's going to cut down on your vet bills. I like the black pen. It's easy to move all around. It works well if you have an area of your yard you need to keep safe from a curious puppy. I'm talking about gardens and flowers. Next, you're going to need treats. Now you can use regular kibble if your puppy's just coming home and may not be interested in treats or may have a sensitive tummy. Or you can use something super yummy like one of the ones I recommend on my website. Whatever works for your puppy is fine with me. Now here's a common mistake some of my students make. They give the treat to their puppy when the puppy comes back inside. Nope, <laughs> that's not actually how it works for a little puppy brain with an attention span of a goldfish. So be sure to give her the treat outside, right after she's gone potty. Yes, that means you are outside too. Now I recommend that you're outside with your puppy for every single potty break. This potty training job is a bit of work at the beginning, but it's totally worth it. So get out there with your puppy and brave the weather. I believe in you. I live in western New York. I have to tolerate some pretty terrible weather living right near a very large lake that brings in tons of snow in the winter, so you can too. Next, you're going to definitely want Nature's Miracle. Now this is an enzymatic cleaner that helps eliminate the smell of the urine, so your pup is less likely to go there again. Now don't be fooled by that spray nozzle. I honestly feel like this stuff should come in a pouring container. Now if your puppy has an accident, I want you to douse the area with the stuff, after you first soaked up the urine, of course. None of that silly spray action. I'm talking about pouring it on. This is going to actually help soak up the smell so that she isn't tempted to go in that potty spot again. Leave the Nature's Miracle on there for just a few minutes before soaking it up with a dry towel. If your puppy still seems to smell her urine and she's making a beeline for that spot, well, then you're going to need a baby gate or other puppy proofing hacks to block it off. Speaking of puppy proofing, you're going to definitely want an indoor puppy pen or some gates. Now, if you're following the four fundamentals of potty training that I outline in my free digital new puppy starter kit, you're going to know that restricting your puppy's space is a key part of teaching her to go potty outside. The more room she has to move around, the more her system is processing and she's going to have to go more often. If she has too much freedom, she might also sneak off and have an accident where you didn't notice. So just keep her space smaller until you can work through the training to add in more rooms to that area. And if you want some good advice on how and when to give your puppy more freedom, I'm going to have you check out this video next. Next, you're going to need a leash. But Michelle, what length of leash should I get? Well, I hate to break it to you, but you're going to need several. When going out for a potty break, I recommend a 6 or a 10 foot leash. Any longer, and it'll likely get all tangled up and isn't really allowing your puppy to focus. But when you start those awesome decompression walks, then you're going to need a 20 to 30 foot leash. Leashes are one of those things that you don't usually buy just once, so just be prepared to get a few. Now, if you have a smaller dog, you might want a more narrow leash so it doesn't bother them by being so heavy. You will probably have to experiment with a few. I have some recommendations on my website though. Alright, next up on the list of potty training supplies, a crate. Of course you need a crate. 
But maybe you're thinking, why do I need a crate for potty training? Using a crate is necessary for one of the fundamentals of potty training. Restrict your puppy's freedom to prevent an accident. Now, most puppies will prefer to hold their bladder if they're in a smaller area that they use for sleeping. This helps develop the bladder muscles. Now, obviously you can't leave your puppy in the crate for longer than they can hold it naturally. Most puppies can hold it about an hour per month of age, but your results might vary. So be sure to keep a log of when she goes so you understand her unique habits. All right, what's next on that list? Bells? I personally recommend the bell method to go along with potty training. Now you're gonna to wanna to teach your puppy some way of alerting that she needs to go potty outside. Now you won't be able to rely on this communication right away, but if you start to associate the bells with going potty every time you go out, eventually you can teach your puppy to ring them herself. Now, if you don't want to use the bells, that's okay, but I recommend teaching your dog a signal. If you don't know how she'll notify you that she has to go out, she won't know either. Whatever type of bell you'd like to use, also, fine with me. Some dogs are more likely to use a paw, so use the desktop bell or courtesy bell. Other dogs like to boop their nose, so a bell that hangs or attaches to the wall can be really helpful. Are you loving this info? Now, I'm not sponsored by any of these products. I just want you all to be equipped for the best possible potty training experience. And if you're happy with the info that I'm sharing, share the love with a fellow puppy friend and share the video with them too. And you could subscribe to the channel for even more great info headed your way. My team and I work really hard on these videos. So if you'd like to buy our dogs a little treat, feel free to use that super thanks button. All right, back to the potty training supplies. Now there's another really important thing I want you to have while potty training. Now you can't get this one at the store, unfortunately. It's patience. Remember, this new puppy in your home has gone through a major change in her short little life. She has no idea what you want her to do and why. She does have natural instincts and needs, such as going potty. So it's gonna take some consistency and time to help her understand what you'd like. Potty training is the human's job. Dogs comply because we make it worth their while. So don't get frustrated with your pup. Most dogs are potty trained by about six months of age. But I can tell you that the human has to be pretty involved with the process all throughout that first year. You will start to see progress before that, but don't opt out of your vigilance too early. Your puppy needs you to be attentive for quite some time. The first year or two of your puppy's life is filled with changes and new skills that are developing each week. If you know what's to come, you'll have more patience and be better prepared. And if you want to get a jump start on what's to come in the next year or two with your puppy, you're going to want to watch this video next. You can find out what to expect and how to avoid common training mistakes that happen from unprepared puppy parents. Did you notice what's not on today's list? Pee pads. Nope, nope, and nobody nope. They teach your dog to go potty in the house. They teach your dog to go potty on soft fabrics and they will likely become a chew toy. No good things come of any of those habits. Just skip the pee pads, put the time and the training in and teach your puppy to go potty outside. You can do it. I believe in you. And if you need more help, comment below with your question and we'll respond. This is Michelle, your certified trainer and puppy expert, signing off till next time.